Lesson seventy-two. Lesson seventy-two. N e double s. N e double s. Double s. Reason. Reason. Illness. 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 Tiredness. Tiredness. Darkness. Darkness. To form a noun from an adjective, we sometimes add the letters n e s s to the adjective. For example, slow, slowness, late, lateness, care, careless, carelessness, etc. How do we sometimes form a noun from an adjective? How do we sometimes form a noun from an adjective? We sometimes form a noun from an adjective by adding the letters n e s s to the adjective. We sometimes form a noun from an adjective by adding the letters n e s s to the adjective. Give me an example. Give me an example. Late lateness. Late lateness. When did you have your last illness? When did you have your last illness? I had my last illness two weeks ago. I had my last illness two weeks ago. What's the reason for tiredness? What's the reason for tiredness? The reason for tiredness is too much work, not enough sleep, etc. The reason for tiredness is too much work, not enough sleep, etc. What's the reason for darkness at night? What's the reason for darkness at night? The reason for darkness at night is that the world turns completely round every twenty-four hours. The reason for darkness at night is that the world turns completely round every twenty-four hours. Alone. Alone. What's another way of saying he lives on his own? What's another way of saying he lives on his own? Another way of saying he lives on his own is he lives alone. Another way of saying he lives on his own is he lives alone. Do you live alone or with other people? Do you live alone or with other people? I live with other people. I live with other people. Do you prefer to go on holiday alone? Do you prefer to go on holiday alone? No, I don't prefer to go on holiday alone. I prefer to go in company. No, I don't prefer to go on holiday alone. I prefer to go in company. Already. Already. Has the lesson already finished? Has the lesson already finished? No, the lesson hasn't finished yet. It's still in progress. No, the lesson hasn't finished yet. It's still in progress. Are you already able to speak English without making any mistakes? Are you able to speak English without making any mistakes? No, I'm not able to speak English without making any mistakes yet. I still make some mistakes. No, I'm not able to speak English without making any mistakes yet. I still make some mistakes. Are we already in spring? Are we already in spring? No, we aren't in spring yet. We're still in winter. No, we aren't in spring yet. We're still in winter. Have we already studied stage four of the Callan method? Have we already studied stage four of the Callan method? Yes, we've already studied stage four of the Callan method. Yes, we have already studied stage four of the Callan method. Throne. Throne. What are the three forms of throw? What are the three forms of throw? The three forms of throw are throw, through, throne. The three forms of throw are throw, through, thrown. Have you ever thrown anything away by mistake, which was worth a lot of money? Have you ever thrown anything away by mistake, which was、uh, worth a lot of money? Yes, I've thrown something away by mistake, which was worth a lot of money. No, I have never thrown anything away by mistake, which was worth a lot of money. What? What? A ring. A ring. In spite of. In spite of. In spite of.
despite despite in spite of and despite both mean the same as although but they are prepositions so we put nouns after them there are three ways of using in spite of or despite they can be followed by a noun or ing or the fact that for example in spite of her illness she went to work Despite being ill, she went to work. In spite of the fact that she was ill, she went to work. It is important to remember that in spite of and despite cannot be followed immediately by the subject and a verb. For example, we cannot say in spite of she was ill, she went to work. We cannot say so. We need to say in spite of the fact that she was ill. You remember to use the phrase uh, the fact that. And then we can have the subject and have the verb later on. Uh, despite being ill, in spite of her illness, we can use verb uh, ing or we can use a noun after in spite of and despite. Why do some people do dangerous sports in spite of the danger? Why do some people do dangerous sports in spite of the danger? Some people do dangerous sports in spite of the danger because they find them exciting. Some people do dangerous sports in spite of the danger because they find them exciting. Name some foods that are very popular despite being bad for the health. Name some foods that are very popular despite being bad for the health. Some foods that are very popular despite being bad for the health are chips, cakes, ice creams, etc. Some foods that are very popular despite being bad for the health are ice creams. Chips, cakes, etc. Do you think it's worth learning a foreign language in spite of the fact that it's quite difficult? Do you think it's worth learning a foreign language in spite of the fact that it's quite difficult? Yes, I think it's worth learning a foreign language in spite of the fact that it's quite difficult. Yes, I think it's worth learning a foreign language in spite of the fact that it is quite difficult. In spite of studying a lot of words and grammar, do you still find English a little difficult? In spite of studying a lot of words and grammar, do you still find English a little difficult? Yes, in spite of studying a lot of words and grammar, I still find English a little difficult. Yes, in spite of studying a lot of words and grammar, I still find English a little difficult. Anyone. Anyone. Someone. Someone. No one. No one. Instead of the words anybody, somebody, and nobody, we can use the words anyone, someone, and no one. What words can we use instead of anybody, somebody, and nobody? What words can we use instead of anybody, somebody, and nobody? Instead of anybody, somebody, and nobody. We can use anyone, someone, and no one. Instead of anybody, somebody, and nobody, we can use anyone, someone, and no one. Did anyone come into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson? Did anyone come into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson? Yes, someone came into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson. Yes, someone came into the classroom at the beginning of the lesson. Who went out of this room two minutes ago? Who went out of this room two minutes ago? No one went out of this room two minutes ago. No one went out of this room two minutes ago. Borrow. Borrow. What's the opposite of the verb to lend? What's the opposite of the verb to lend? The opposite of the verb to lend is to borrow. The opposite of the word to lend is to borrow. Should we always give back the things we borrow? Should we always give back the things we borrow? Yes, we should always give back the things we borrow. Yes, we should always give back the things we borrow. If you forgot to bring a pen with you to school, would you have to borrow one from another student? If you forgot to bring a pen with you to the school. Would you have to borrow one from another student? Yes. If I forgot to bring a pen with me to school, 
I'd have to borrow one from another student. Yes, if I forgot to bring a pen with me to the school, I have to borrow one from another student. My own. My own. Emphasize. Emphasize. We often put the word "own" after a possessive adjective when we want to emphasize that something belongs to someone. For example, this is my own pen. It belongs to me. Notice that we can say that this is our classroom because we study here all the time, but we cannot say that this is our own classroom because it doesn't belong to us. Give me an example of the word "own" after a possessive adjective. Give me an example of the word "own" after a possessive adjective. This is my own book. This is my own book. Do you live in your own house or flat, or does it belong to somebody else? Do you live in your own house or flat, or does it belong to somebody else? No, I don't live in my own house. It belongs to somebody else. No, I don't live in my own house. It belongs to somebody else. Do you think this is probably my own book, or do you think it belongs to the school? Do you think this is probably my own book, or do you think it belongs to the school? I don't think that's your own book. I think it belongs to the school. I don't think that's your own book. I think it belongs to the school. Skin. Skin. What? What's this? What's this? What's this? It's your skin. It's your skin. Wire. Wire. Electricity. Electricity. Connection. Connection. Wireless. 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 Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Hyphen. Hyphen. What do we use wire for? What do we use wire for? We use wire to carry electricity to connect things together. Etc. We use wire to carry electricity to connect things together, etc. What do we mean by a wireless internet connection? What do we mean by a wireless internet connection? By a wireless internet connection, we mean that we can connect to the internet without connecting wires to our computer. By a wireless internet connection, we mean that we can connect to the internet without connecting wires to our computer. What can we say instead of a wireless internet connection? What can we say instead of a wireless internet connection? Instead of a wireless internet connection, we can say Wi-Fi. Instead of the wireless internet connection, we can say Wi-Fi. Do some bars and cafes offer free Wi-Fi to their customers? Do some bars and cafes offer free Wi-Fi to their customers? Yes, some bars and cafes offer free Wi-Fi to their customers. Yes, some bars and cafes offer free Wi-Fi to their customers. Spell the word Wi-Fi, please. Spell the word Wi-Fi, please. W, I, hyphen, F, I. W, I, hyphen, F, I. Boil. Boil. Fry, fry, roast, roast. Tell me three ways of cooking potatoes. Tell me three ways of cooking potatoes. Three ways of cooking potatoes are boiling, frying, and roasting. Three ways of cooking potatoes are boiling, frying, and roasting. Do you prefer fried eggs or boiled eggs? Do you prefer fried eggs or boiled eggs? I prefer fried eggs. I prefer fried eggs. I prefer fried eggs. How long does it take to boil potatoes? How long does it take to boil potatoes? It takes about twenty minutes to boil potatoes. It takes about twenty minutes to boil potatoes. Brick, 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 brick. What's a wall normally built of? What's the wall normally built of? A wall is normally built of bricks. A wall is normally built of bricks. As well. As well. Two. Two. Also. 
also. The words as well, to and also all mean the same thing. The words as well and to go at the end of the sentence, but the word also usually goes after the first auxiliary verb. Where do the words as well, to, and also usually go? Where do the words also, as well, to, usually go? The words as well and to go at the end of the sentence. But the word also usually goes after the first auxiliary verb. The words as well and to go at the end of the sentence, but the word also usually goes after the first auxiliary verb. Give me an example of each, please. Give me an example of each, please. I will be sleeping at 3 a.m. I will be sleeping at 3 a.m. My sister will be sleeping as well. My sister will be sleeping as well. My mother will be sleeping too. My mother will be sleeping too. My brother will also be sleeping. My brother will also be sleeping. With the present simple and past simple, there is no auxiliary verb in the positive, so the word also simply goes between the subject and the verb. For example, we say he speaks German and he also speaks French. Give me an example of also when there is no auxiliary verb, please. Give me an example of also when there is no auxiliary verb, please. I love coffee and I also love tea. I love coffee and I also love tea. Thank you a lot for practicing this lesson with me. See you for the next lesson.